greatness. There will never be a day when it appears at your doorstep. It has to be chased down, pursued. It's rare. It's intangible. And its existence can never be guaranteed. Yet it requires a substantial amount of sacrifice, of work, of distress. It's trading everything for a temporary nothing so that someday you can associate yourself with it. It is, in every sense of the word, irrational. As human beings, we don't live in a physical world. We live in our heads. We abide by these social expectations that we've developed over years and years. And they're significant because they keep us comfortable. They keep us average, you know, keep things predictable, keep us alive and well. But they don't do much more than that. And there's a huge gap between being alive and well and truly excelling in life. It's a space that just sits there waiting for those who are brave enough to step into it. I look at this gap as the difference between winning a game and simply being happy to participate in it. Between creating the next... big thing and working for someone else as they do. You know, it's the stands or the stage. Because in all these examples, you're there, you're present, you're at the event. But whether you've opted to do something extraordinary or settle to be an accessory to someone else's journey, that's what varies. You know, the side of the spectrum that you fall on. And the struggle is that greatness can't come without a willingness to go left when the crowd goes right. That's what makes it hard. People generally don't like to do that. Because not only does it require an uncompromising work ethic, but it calls for the ability to accept the critique. and the disapproval of others, which is never an easy road. It's never the normal road, but greatness is not normal. Reading a book every day is not normal. Practicing guitar for eight hours a day is not normal. Working on fitness and ball handling from the time the sun goes up until the time it goes down is not normal. These things shape greatness, but they are not normal. Most people who have done extraordinary things were too ignorant of the odds to know that it was at one point impossible. They had an idea, they wanted something, and they per-
pursued it. That is how greatness is born, by the irrational few. So my advice is to be irrational. Be irrational enough to seek out something better. Because being exceptional is not fate. It's a decision.